I think John didn't like to be trapped by anything. I think all of us, you know, the male menopause, I think, is about a feeling of being trapped. I used to go out with girls, I used to go to clubs, and now I sit at home. You know, there's a feeling of that. I notice a lot of my friends yeah. get that. I think with middle John, crisis a middle age crisis yeah. kind of thing, you know, and I think with John, he loved, he, in fact, when the Beatles broke up, he likened it to his first divorce. He said, I feel great, I feel so energized. He said, just like when I told my wife I was getting divorced, it was such a weight, I felt like free. It was like a butterfly let out of a jar, you know. And I think John had a huge feeling of that. Of course, with Yoko, I, my feeling was he had to clear the decks too. Because if he used to work with Yoko, he couldn't have these sort of Beatle-like appendages. Because he had to give his life to Yoko. Yeah. This was the nature of the relationship. Nature of her demand, you think? No, no, his, yeah. his demand. People get that wrong, you know. John was hopelessly in yeah. love with Yoko, yeah. you know. Now, John did nothing he didn't want to do. And, you know, you could see at that point in his life, he'd had a marriage which had been okay for a while, but yeah. was getting a little bit pipe and slippers.